Hello everyone, I'm finally back after a month of hiatus. I was away traveling for the BTS concerts and I also kind of took a little break from YouTube. So yeah, now I feel refreshed and I'm ready to get back to my usual uploading schedule. So what happened? I got super, super lucky. Not only did I get one BTS ticket, I got freaking three BTS tickets. Two normal seating tickets for London and Paris and one VIP soundcheck ticket for London. Well, I actually got four tickets. The story on how I got one one diamond floor ticket for the second date for Paris will be in my next vlog. I went with my best friend Denise for the BTS concerts in England and this was actually her first big concert so I think she was pretty excited and this was my first big stadium concert like I was never in a stadium before so I was really pumped but also kind of scared because of the height because our seats for the first day were really up high so yeah <laughs> but it was actually okay like it wasn't scary at all. We arrived a day earlier before the concert so we had enough time to buy from the BTS merch store and also explore London for a bit. We were expecting like a huge line for the merch store but since we arrived at 12 o'clock there was literally no line at all so we fortunately had lots of time to wander around in London and look at some cute places. The next day we woke up at 7 a.m. to line up for the BTS photo booth. We both then win the survey so we had no QR codes but apparently they let the first 200 people who don't have the QR code into the photo booth in America so we hope that would be the case in London as well. As you can see my number was 191 so there was a chance that we could get in but after like an hour or half an hour of waiting the staff came up to our line and they said that they were only taking people who have the QR codes. I was kind of sad but it was okay since I was going to see them in real life life for two days four days actually so I wasn't that upset like I was in Berlin last year like I was so upset in Berlin because we were playing this lottery game for three times and we didn't win anything so <laughs> that was kind of frustrating but anyways, the concert was at 7 p.m. so we had a lot of time so we went to the city to get something to eat <laughs> We found some BTS related stuff in London as well, so of course I had to take some pictures. And yes, I also recreated some of Taeyong's photos he took last year in London. And then we went back to the Airbnb for a quick outfit change. My outfit was actually inspired by Tata. I don't know if you can tell but I was already getting <laughs> really teary-eyed because I was just feeling so lucky that I get to see them again and hear their live voices again, you know? <laughs> After the intro video BTS performed Dionysus and Not Today <laughs> Then, as always, they introduced themselves and for some reason Namjoon was already very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tasty Kim Namjoon. I'll be so watching this in a Japanese theater and all fans across the world. Are you ready to fly with us? Yeah. Oh. Nice to meet you. My name is Hugh. 
you guys know, at my first BTS concert, I was very, very close to the stage and it was so intense, like the crowd was going absolutely crazy and I thought this time the energy might not be as intense up there, but I was so wrong because everyone was so hyped, like it didn't matter where your seat was, like everyone was standing up and dancing and singing and shouting out the fan chants with such passion, like it was so amazing. Love you. Love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. Flavor, oh my god, it just, it's so real. Like, At some point, BTS spoke some British again, and it was so cute. As you can see here, I was not ready to see Taehyung perform Singularity. Like, I was literally shaking. <laughs>
friends say, you're gonna say, oh, like he. I say, no. I say, no, because I want, want to shot. I have a very important question. Did Taehyung just casually say fuck you to 60,000 people? Or did I hear something wrong? Because I honestly, I can't imagine him saying something like that, but it really, really sounds like he said that. <laughs> Microcosmos was the last song they performed and then they said goodbye and I was really surprised because I didn't expect to get emotional or to literally cry like <laughs> I don't know like tears was coming out of my eyes and I was like ew like what what like this is so unlike me to cry at events or to cry at concerts like this is like this is so not me. <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't cry that easy, you know? So I was feeling really embarrassed. Like, I was like, okay, um, I hope my friend doesn't see it. But, oh my god, it doesn't stop. It won't fucking stop. And I was already panicking about the next day. Like, I kept telling my friend that I'm not gonna be able to handle sound check or being down there right at the barricade. Like... I'm gonna faint or puke, like something is going to happen and I'm not ready. So the next day we woke up at 4 and lined up at 5 o'clock only for the sound check, which is like only 15 minutes. So we waited in line for about 5 hours to get our wristband number for the sound check line. After we got our official number and sound check line yard, we had some time to get food and we also changed our outfits real quick. So let me tell you about sound check. So the boys perform 3 songs and they all have like super casual clothes on, no makeup, nothing, everyone's super chill and Tay for example looked like this. I didn't take this photo by the way since taking photos or videos is prohibited during soundcheck but I still have to give a huge thank you to the army who took this picture because goddamn he looked so fine. So usually we have our designated seats but for soundcheck it was allowed to go to the barricades and be like super close to the stage and I somehow got lucky again and I got to the barricade and bitch I was dying. So this is an Instagram story from BTS. J-Hope was the one who filmed it and as you can see, I was standing right there. <laughs> and oh my god, it was so awesome seeing them so up close again. I will never forget it. Then I think it was like 16.30 when soundcheck ended and the real concert was at 7pm so we had enough time to get something to drink and roam around the stadium. Oh, and by the way, my seat was literally number one at the barricade, like right beside the main stage. Like how the fuck was I so lucky to get these seats, man? Like I could have gotten that seat or that or that, but no, Buddha and good karma blessed me once again. <laughs> Thank you, Buddha. Right here, right here. And me and my friend were having such a great time, we were playing around, taking pictures and videos. And what's funny about that is that everyone was taking pictures and videos and enjoying themselves. But of course, when I do it, it's problematic. Because some shitty person took this video of me and my friend without my or her consent and put it on Twitter to make fun of me, basically. Wild animal. Is this even considered roasting? <laughs> You know, 
Instead of saving your gallery storage for the actual BTS concert, these people decided to film me, take pictures of me. And it's like, okay. <laughs> Hope you had fun bullying someone online who just who was just enjoying themselves at their favorite concert. I just don't get it. Like, I don't even have something critical to say to that because I just think it's so childish and so pathetic. Like, you really have nothing better to do, huh? <laughs> so my friend who I was with at the BTS concerts found something really interesting on Twitter. So this girl was in the soundcheck line with us and she was literally sitting right beside me in the waiting line and this is what she tweeted. You know, it's one thing to spread around pictures and videos that I did not consent, but to say shit like I saw her and I was ready to fight her, I wanted to do that and that to her, but in reality have no fucking guts to even approach me like what a bunch of spineless cowards these people are. And let's remember, what's the reason? Fight me for what? For not liking every single BTS song? You wanna punch me for saying that the K-pop industry is corrupt? Are you fucking insane? Like, you can bash me, make fun of me, of my face, my body, my stupid videos, like, be my fucking guest, man. But don't call for violence because of some shit that I never even said in the first place, like... <laughs> but anyways, see if I care. The concert started and I saw BTS once again up close. I really can't describe the feeling you get when you finally see someone who you have been watching online through a screen in real life. Like, it's so weird and dreamlike. Like, I kept thinking, oh my god, you are real. You are real. This is not a YouTube video. This is not a live stream. You are. It is happening right now in front of us and you are a real person <laughs> i don't know i don't know what i'm saying but it's it just feels so surreal like whenever i try to remember a bts concert it's almost like i'm trying to remember a dream i had you know anyways i fucking love bts you made this army we come for you Nice to meet you, my name is Bree. Hello!
So in every BTS concert, they have a couple of moments between songs where they talk to the audience, goof around with each other, and it's always so endearing and cute. I mean, you know what? Some of BTS members came from Hogwarts. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Stop it, Paul! to earn me the better one. Better one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lumosone! Wow. Lumosone! 
another spell. Oh, the last spell. Okay. This spell will make you happy and fun. Army? Okay. Are you ready? Popular! Oh, oh, oh. Professor? Yeah. yeah. That spell works. Okay, okay. You did it. Okay, Professor Sugar. Okay. You got something to say? Are you ready to have more fun? No, 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 no. Have more fun! One more time. Make some noise! <laughs>
After they performed Make It Right, BTS had a quick break and suddenly something appeared on the screen. After the band's last comment and before the stage for Microcosmos, the words are missing will appear on the screen. When it does, let's sing the chorus of Young Forever together as loud as you can. Keep it a secret from the BTS members so we can make this an unforgettable moment for ARMY and BTS. I remember everyone freaking out, gasping, cheering, shouting, like we were so pumped to surprise BTS with a song like 
I couldn't wait. So after a couple of minutes, BTS came out and took a picture with the audience. This is good. I'll forget about that. One, two, three. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. And we also did an army bomb wave. <laughs> And then they spoke some English again and thanked their fans. This will forever be my heart. I feel blessed because my Not everyone can have uh, this childish feeling. Hello, so, you totally changed my whole world. And oh my god, Jimin's little mistake and his reaction to his mistake was so cute. I As we say that we had so much fun. And then they were getting ready to perform Microcosmos for the last song, but then the surprise happened.
Julius. This was not on the set list. It was such an emotional experience for all of us. You can see Jungkook was crying, Jimin and Hobie were crying, armies all around me were bawling their eyes out. Like, it was beautiful. Let's stay young forever together! I thought, like, there was something wrong. But Jungkook forever is always clutching. I was not supposed to cry today. I can't help loving you guys, Naomi. This song helped me a lot. I'm so happy. Thank you for enjoying. Thank you for singing this song together. We will come back next year. Thank you for giving this moment to us. I will never forget forever. This is very last song. It was like a 50 centimeter empty space between the barricade and our seat which we weren't allowed to cross but for the last song it was allowed to touch the barricades so I was already at the barricade for the whole concert but I was even closer now and I was literally dying the distance was so short like I was here and they were like literally there they were just there <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was really intimidating to be that close to Seven Gods. Then they performed Microcosmos and it was so intense and emotional because some of the members were still crying because of the surprise. So half of them sang the song with teary eyes to us, like, it was so touching. <laughs>
then they said their final goodbyes to London and everyone was crying and hugging each other. <laughs> I was fucking emotional, my friend loved it, I loved it. It was the best, best concert ever, to be honest. So the next day I flew back to Austria and I had like one day to chill before I flew to France for, you know, the very last BTS concerts. And I still have to edit them, so the Paris concert vlog should be finished soon as well. And yeah, if you have been to the concerts as well, please let me know how your experience was like. I would love to read that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!